Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. So I wanted uh, to just show a feature that I just came across in Caden Live. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I just up uh, dated my Caden Live to the latest one available through the PPA in Ubuntu. That's Caden Live version 21 decimal zero four decimal three. Uh, I must say they've done a nice job. It looks a lot tidier than what I had before. Uh, but I'm just looking to see if there's anything new in terms of functionalities. Now, I don't think this is new to this version, but I did just discover it. And it's this little online resources tool. Now, uh, it's pretty self-explanatory, but I said I just kind of show what it does in any event. Um, and I'm going to just label this video how to get stock footage into Caden Live because you could just go on to Pexels and download a clip. And uh, likewise, you could just go on to Freesound or Internet Archive Movies or Pixabay. But it's kind of nice to be able to do this through the, just without leaving the actual software. Now, the only thing I would kind of find useful here, Freesound I found a little bit buggy. Um, now, as I said, you can just download from their websites, but this is just kind of a bit convenient. So the one I really find useful is Pexels. I'm just going to focus on that for this video. So what it's going to be doing is pulling through Pexels library of free stock videos and you're going to be able to search directly through this so let's search for um let's search for monkey let's search for a monkey and you can see it's populating some clips here from uh pexels i'm just gonna actually go ahead and make this a little bit bigger to make it easier to see and now the license here is uh, you can link off to that resource on Pexel. So if I click on this, it'll open it in my browser and I can now see uh, the clip that it's identified. So I can just take a look at the detail information here in terms of um, it's by Pixabay from Pexels. Now often you'll see the name of the creator there. So you might want to probably nice to credit them in the description. Um, it's free to use, there's no attribution required, always worth scrutinizing the license terms for anything you use, needless to say. So you don't need to attribute, but if there, you might find that there is an attribution required, um, and you can see the uh, Creative Commons license here. This is licensed under CC0. Uh, and if you're not familiar with, with Creative Commons licenses, uh, it's worth checking those out. So in any event, that's, that's what that link does. Um, this links off to the general Pexel license and this links off to media provided by. So basically, if I wanted to take this thing, I can see it's by Pixabay, but in order to get the license, I'd actually really need to uh, go on to the Pixabay website. So that's just an FYI. Um, you can load it directly into, so here we go. Here's my little monkey clip loading, uh, which is very nice. So you can take a look in the actual, uh, in Caden Live preview window itself. You can see, as you can see here, the resolution is 3840 by 1260 pixels, and it's a 13 second duration clip. So again, just to, just to emphasize, if you wanna make sure you're getting attribution correct, you should click off, click the link here, and see what is requested or required. Now, if you want to use it, you need to click import, and then you get to choose which version. So this is a little bit, ah, they have 1080p, wonderful. So I can click on HD 1920 by 1080, click on okay, and uh, then you can just save it to your local. I'm just gonna save it here, but you know, if I wanted to do, let's say raw uh, stock, I'm just gonna may as well, while, while, while I'm at it, Pix, uh, sorry, Pexels, Pexels. I'm just gonna create a folder for myself. I'm gonna give it a more descriptive name. I'm gonna call it um, monkey on grass. Click on save. And now, as you can see, it's downloading from the internet to my local computer. Now it's been saved. And now it automatically populates into the clip library and it also generates a proxy clip if you're using proxy clips. So I can now go and drop that into my timeline and do the usual stuff on Caden Live. I can add a little bit of fade, I can, etc. use it in my video. So that's how to uh, get Pixabay videos into Caden Live using the online resources tool. And if you don't have that, just click on to view and you'll find there a online resources button. I'm gonna take it off my machine. Um, and very, you know, it'll save you a little bit of time as opposed to having, uh, you know, Pexels open on your other window and bringing stuff in that way. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to get more videos from me, please feel free to subscribe to this YouTube channel.